Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of gallbladder polyps. This is a very common case in our regular practice. A 32-year-old male patient came for a routine abdominal ultrasound scan. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the longitudinal section of the gallbladder. It's a little magnified view. You can see multiple ecogenic structures arising from the gallbladder wall. They're protruding into the lumen, but not casting any posterior acoustic shadow. Now, the common differentials come here are the gallbladder polyps and soft calculi. If they move along the posture changing, then we'll go for the soft calculi. Though we can see they are attached to the gallbladder wall, we definitely should check them with posture changing. Even sometimes you may see multiple polyps and one or two of them may be calculi. So be careful, whenever you see any polyp, you should obviously don't forget to search for the calculi. We have changed the posture of this patient and there was no change of position of these polyps. Here is a picture, you can see multiple polyps arising from different parts of the wall and protruding into the lumen without any posterior acoustic shadow. The largest one measures around 5 mm. Here is a 3D ultrasound picture and you can see tiny polyps here. So, in summary, multiple tiny hyperechogenic fixed structures are seen arising from the gallbladder wall and protruding into the lumen without any posterior acoustic shadow, indicating them as gallbladder polyps. Another take home message tiny gallbladder polyps may cause cometal artifacts, making a confusion with adenomyometrosis or cholesterolosis. You can change the transducer from the curvilinear low frequency one to the high frequency linear one to solve this confusion. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and visit imagingstudy.com for more cases. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.